Hello, my name is Ati Farad and welcome to my poster. The title of this poster is Single Cell Transcriptomics Highlights the Effect of Replicated Senescence on Mesenchymal Stem Cells. Um, the main aim and objective of this project was to understand the gene expression heterogeneity during senescence. The cells that we decided to um, uh, sort of understand senescence with were mesenchymal stem cells. And this is mainly because mesenchymal stem cells are multipotent cells that are able to differentiate into different cell types and also they have a superior ab ability to promote tissue repair. Um, so with age, MSCs undergo senescence, and senescence is a state of permanent cell cycle arrest where there is no prolifer proliferation happening. And it happens with, but it's identified by gradual loss of function. Um, senescence have been implicated in organ failure, and also it's been associated with age-associated diseases. So it's really, it's really important to understand the biology uh, behind um, senescence. Um, so to give you uh, an idea of the experimental design, we started with neural crest cells and these cells were transformed into MSCs. Um, and then um, the reason that we wanted to start with that subpopulation is because we wanted to make sure that the cells that we are starting with, they are more or less a homogeneous population of the cells. Um, so we had three time points, T0 that represent young MSCs, T1 that represent pre-senescent MSCs, and T2 that represent senescent MSCs, and we had three replicates. As far as the analysis are concerned, obviously there are different aspects to this project, but here I'm going to only talk about the data analysis part. We um, performed chromium 10x single cell RNA sequencing, and we ended up with around 100,000 cells. And um, after getting the reads, we pretty much followed a surat pipeline, a surat integration pipeline, and um, performed um, identified markers for each clusters. Um, so as you can see here, this is the U map, and each dot represents a cell. And these maps are col color coded based on replicate, time point, cell phase, and clusters. And um, based on the proportion of the cells in each time point, um, we kind of classified cluster, uh, clusters in early and late time point. So you can see that cluster one, zero, one, and cluster four are the ones that are mainly in T2. And then cluster uh, six and two, and part of cluster three have more population of, um, T0 ones. Um, we performed um, pathway over representation analysis and we identified the top 50 upregulated genes in each and every cluster. And through that, we were able to characterize each and every cluster. So based on our characterization, we identified that cluster three, T0 portion, cluster six and two are healthy proliferative MSCs. And then in cluster five cell, which is T1, cells go under metabolic stress, and then followed by cluster T0, which we have identified to be a pre senescent state. And this is when, um, after metabolic stress, cells try to go to a stable phenotypic state, which in this case is senescent because they are not being induced in any sense. And then from there, They'll go to cluster one and four, which we have identified one to be the SASP associated senescence, and cluster four is oncogenic associated senescence. Uh, these proportion of the cells that are cluster three, but are T2 cells, we have identified them to be uh, senescent scapies, and these are the ones that have scaped senescence. Overall, we can conclude that gene expression heterogeneity increases with senescence as the number of clusters in T2 have also increased. And um, there are at least three distinct senescent phenotypes indicating the pre uh, presence of alternative pathways leading to senescence. Um, this was the overall summary of the poster. If you have any questions about any part of the poster or data analysis part, feel free to ask in the Q&A section. Thank you.